Hi, this is Caroline, always reminding you that you are created beautifully. Today, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video. It's going to be a makeup tutorial and I'm attaching some of my updates for week 34. And if you are at all interested in how I did this look, please continue watching. Get right into this video and I'm going to take it way old school. We're going to use some of my old makeup. Most of them are gonna be MAC products. Shadows that I'm gonna be using are still a part of the MAC line. I've already primed my eyelids with my concealer. I'm using the Smashbox Concealer, medium dark. It's the high definition concealer. And also my brows off camera. So set my entire T-zone area and my forehead area with my Sasha Buttercup Loose Setting Powder just to absorb some of the oils that I typically have. Okay, this first color that I'm going to use is going to be Brown Script. Just gonna take that in with a very light hand and I'm just gonna take that into the center of my crease area. I'm just barely dabbing that in. Okay, so it is week 34 on my health journey. Any of you guys who have been following me for a long time know that I started revamped my channel January 1st. Well, my last update was August the 1st and everyone wants to know, I was 175.5 pounds. So I jumped on the scale and let's just take a look at that right here. So right now, as of September 1st, I'm 173.9 pounds. That is only a weight loss of 1.6 pounds. And I'm actually super surprised that my weight gain was not more intense. I'm now gonna go in with the color Rule. It's a pretty orange color. I'm gonna place that color right on top of Brown Script. And I'm using the same brush. When I checked my weight, like the second week of August, I was at 181 pounds no lie i was like what in the world am i doing it was a very emotional time and the family was meeting a lot for any of you who know polynesians we congregate a lot around food whether it's a joyous occasion or if it's a sad occasion food is just always a part of it and then i really just had to call myself on it and just really say hey gotta change some weights because when you hit that 180 I mean, it took me forever to get under the 170 and now I'm back up. Like, I was heartbroken, to be honest. I had to just nip that in the bud. Although I continued to indulge, I was adding in a lot more green. I just wanna darken it in a little bit more. And I really wanna keep them to matte colors. I'm gonna be using Brown Down by MAC. And I'm gonna go in with the tapered blending brush for that. I kinda wanna leave it in the low of my crease area. Like I don't want it to be spread out so high. So I want to stay closer to where my crease is, working it down into the lid area. Let's go on, let's do our check-ins. Um, so my fitness pal, um, if any of you guys are actually following me on my fitness, I will link that information in the description bar. I have been logged in, I think I'm at live day 45, but I log in there with the expectation that I'm logging in breakfast. And then by the end of the day, I have not logged in all my meals. And I've been skipping days like, yeah, I'll log it in later, I'll log it in later. It shows that I've logged in every day. If you go into act the actual daily food logs, I have not been doing that. This whole month pretty much has been a disaster. I'm really on a reset. And I know I said that last month, I was actually excited to come in with my update. Last month, I was kind of like in the whole shame thing, like, oh my God, I let everyone down. Now I'm just like, you know what? I went through a very rough month, but I am ready to get myself back into gear. Like my water intake has been pretty good. I have not been measuring it out exactly. You guys know that my goal is 127 ounces. And so I wanna continue that. Having any type of container ready to go. I used to not like ice water. Like I like just regular room temperature water, but now I've been really enjoying having this on ice. You'll have your ice in there like the, pretty much the whole Continuing day. to just add that down brown in here, deepen that my crease area and as you can see that I'm bringing it down into my lid space I'm not bringing it up 
going towards my, my brow workouts area. i have not worked out all of august well i started working out august 31st which was yesterday guys you know the kids went back into school my uncle's death other transitions in our family just have made it really hard to get out there and i just haven't done it and it's the longest i've ever not worked out this year which is kind of crazy to me but y'all when i said i'm resetting i'm resetting so we went ahead and applied to the ymca and i started yesterday i'm going to put a clip in on my workout from yesterday and then because i had a friend that was meeting me at the ymca she was already in town uh, we went hiking and we did probably between three three and a half mile hike up at rancho and that was extreme you guys this afternoon i went back to the y and i did a U jam class and i'll put a clip here of my thoughts before class and after i'm excited to be here i am extremely sore from yesterday's body bump class like my thighs and my quads are on fire right now i'm walking out of the ymca just finished our U jam class it was fantastic i'm just tired but the instructor brian is awesome so if you guys are in the bay area you know they do those three-day passes come out and join you well, i'm i just really think that i am ready to get back in the saddle going to those two classes working out already three times in the last two days twice yesterday i just feel great i have a super active little boy and i just really was feeling lethargic not making the right choices with food and then not working out it's like a horrible horrible mess so i went back in with the uh rule and now i'm going to go back into with the brown script and i am again going back with the fluffy dome brush i just feel like i want it more intense food prep nope nope did not happen the only food prep that i have been doing you guys is the large bags of broccoli from Costco. Like I have fallen in love with broccoli, I think since last month, I, I talked about it a little bit. So good, you guys, like literally, I can eat it with anything, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So that's the only prep I did some, in fact, today. I have been cooking a little bit more because family's been around, so that's kind of nice. Kind of proud of myself for that. I really need to do that more often, and I think because I'm really in a good place right now i think it's gonna happen guys i really think next month's update we're gonna get back under that 70 mark and we're gonna move forward for the end of the year youtube has been great i have to be honest you know when i first started this out on the first uh, if i haven't said it before i'm really hoping to monetize my channel like that's what i want to do i'm a stay-at-home mom and my husband works the things that i put on my channel like the cleaning videos the makeup tutorials challenges those are real things that i really really enjoy and i was like if i can do all these things and share the gospel about christ yeah it's a win-win situation for me so i am super super excited i am at 480 something um subscribers like, if you can be those people that like totally enjoy what they love to do why not right like that's what i want to do I'm going to use my favorite pigment, which is the melon pigment. I really don't want to attempt to do like a full cut crease, but I definitely want the, the pigment to show. So I am going to use my concealer, like a light cut crease, but nothing intense. I have to really refocus on just getting better at communicating like my heart. On my channel, like I haven't really picked an avenue and everyone that's on youtube they talk about like you got to pick an avenue where you're going to grow at like if you're doing makeup tutorials you're going to run after that if you're going to do vlogging you run after that that helps your channel grow faster because your subscribers know what to expect like it all makes total sense unfortunately I have not really chosen an avenue I really want to pursue here on you. I've got so many interests that it's really hard for me to pick. I really love being on YouTube. I'm trying to find my place here, find, trying to find my niche, what works for me, and I'm enjoying the ride. I am using my melon pigment, so I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and I'm gonna use the Ben Nye Liquid Set Mixing and Sealer. Spray that. And I just tap it in there to get it. 
and then close the eye and you just go ahead and place that right there so pretty you see how bright that is like I love this pigment I haven't used it in so long so I'm so glad I decided to grab it Oh, for this color like I've seen some of my chocolate sisters wearing this and it just looks gorgeous it's a very versatile color how's life going for you guys I'm curious I haven't fully felt like I've connected with too many of my subscribers which I really want that helps me kind of navigate to some of my interests and kind of narrow them in because I want to talk about things that are relevant to my subscribers I don't want y'all totally taking me in one direction but with the interest that I've already laid out, I'd love to hear from you guys. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and take my darkest brown, which is uh, called Rich Brown Number 11 from Bobbi Brown. Taking the shader brush and I just don't want any harsh lines, but I'm pretty satisfied with how my eye look is. Let's go ahead and finish up the look. I'm going to be using my Mac Studio Fix in NC44. I don't know if I'm going to use all of that. I'm using a damp beauty blender. I'm going to use the uh, Tarte Concealer in Santan. I don't do too much. If you go right in and start blending it out, typically what will happen is it, you're losing its power. I also like to try to have my setting powder all set and ready. Now I'm gonna ride that up on my nose to help give the illusion that my nose is more narrow than it is. My powder right away, get up right under there. Now what I've really gone back to doing is setting the rest of my face. It really has made a big difference to go back in. And I set my face with Max uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in color medium deep. And what I use is just a small fluffy brush. This is the full face brush from Bare Minerals. I just tap it right in there, shake it off, and I just, in a circular motion like you would do Bare Minerals products, I go in there and I set the rest of my face. Just kind of contour a little bit. With a fluffy face brush, I'm using my MAC Gimme Sun Mineralized Skin Finish. It like that. And Let that continue to bake. I am going to put my mascara and my eyeliner off camera and then I will come I back. I did go ahead and finish my eyes. I just put some liner on and mascara. I did not put any falsies on today. I went ahead and curled my hair a little bit to look a little bit more decent for y'all. To brush it off, I am going to use my medium dark in MAC to help just get off this baking. So I'm going to go with Fig One and then Vibrant Grape and I'm going to use that at the bottom of my eyes. Use a chisel shader brush to get right up underneath. And I'm going to take that Vibrant Grape and I'm going to add that right on top. For my blush today, I'm going to use Melba from MAC. So for my lip liner, I'm gonna go ahead and use Nutmeg by NYX. Now this color I purchased from Makeup Geek Blush Cream Lip Color, and it's BFF. This is the finished look. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, to hit that like button, to share this video, and also to turn on your notifications. I wish you guys all the best. God bless you and bye.